I'm Lian, of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver of the Lord of Wood. He's got a... Does he have, like, a Genesect hood on? I don't know, it looks like Gen... No, it's Palkia. Yeah. And you, I'm already deduced that you're the... You come here to meet Cleaver, am I right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps the strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power, but whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do it anyway. Oh, such earnest desire to see my mighty cleaver. I must admit, I stri I'm striked by passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irita that I am not to let anyone near cleaver. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now. While you still can or face the wrath of my Gumi. Gumi? I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you o I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. No. He's got a Gumi. Um We don't really have anything for Gumi, so I'll just roll out with Rishiri. We can tank a bubble, I think. Jesus, that did a lot more than I thought. And he gets to go again? Bullshit. Um, I guess Luxio. Bite. There we go. This game I feel like would be really hard to Nuzlocke. H how could this be? Oh, so I do love the height difference between us. I may be have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get is if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. I had a nice heap and help of his two favorite foods served up with the respect of his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe his prickly, prickest mood. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give an offering without not uh, now not with the way Cleaver's rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestor of Cleaver, Weirdir, and their cohort drew of Almighty Sinnoh's power, and their cohort drew of on Almighty Sinnoh's po own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said. It's by their grace that our clan and any of us still live in vast Hisui today. Arita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength poses a problem for us. If we had, what if he was indeed struck by that lightning? Could the bolt have been sent by the false Sinnoh, that diamond-clad bows to? Cleaver means to means so much to our clan. I hoped we could bring his situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond, the Diamond Clan, and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure it out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods and please that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. 
As for you, find a way to, way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast Hisui. Searching far and wide. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Your arc phone is beeping. Uh, M Mysterious power enables you to return to base camp in an instant. I already knew this. So they want us to go back to base camp. This whole place is actually crazy how big it is. Also, there was... Wait a minute. There's Heartwood. Is that where Heart Home becomes a place? Heart Home City? No. Is Heart Home... Heart Home's Johto, right? I don't remember. <laughs> this whole place is fucking big. Oh, wait, God's calling. Yeah, sorry, BRB. Good to see you, Masu. Good to see you, Masu. And how is your research with Cleaver into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So, serving of his, so a serving of his favorite food will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that, that it? I need to mull it back over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Did we make enough to... I think we made enough to level up. Yeah, we did. We can make our second star if we go talk to the, the commander. So according to the information you were able to learn from Ire Irita and Leon of the Pearl Clan, there were this normal course of events that frenzied Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I, want, I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these food might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by our reports, even Cleaver's warden, who looks like... who, Even Cleaver's warden, who looks like Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be f a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm. Give me a moment... If you would, I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. There's a Pikachu! Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've got- you've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Masu? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite food and throw them at- throw them at the Pokémon? Makes sense? Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skills in Pokéball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what I call these yummy projectiles, well, how about the tea time balls? Put one in mind, puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you just simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm, I'm the one being launched at, at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, right? Then we should go get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to the Grand Tree Arena, best set out for the Heights Camp, huh? I love that they're, he's just sitting there. Oshawott's so cute. I hate Samurott, though, man. I just don't like him. Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if I become incapacitated recruit. I should I should like to avoid that encounter. Imagine you would as well since it means losing the food and shelter we provide for you. Yeah, show me your Pokedex. Here's my Pokedex. Hmm, you made progress it seems. You have earned yourself a star. 
Nice. Rank two, baby! With that, you have officially obtained the second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earned from your survey reports will also be generous now too. And have these as well. They will further they are further recipes that you'll need for crafting. Feather balls crafting. Feather ball from scratch. Sky tumble or and a crafting for super potions. One prep up plant and a potion. I feel offended by that opinion of yours. I mean, I, more love to you, more shamrocks for you, my guy. Continue to delegate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in your ranks. It's not that I necessarily hate Samurott. I hate that Oshawott evolves into Samurott. I want Oshawott to evolve into something that looks more like Oshawott, but bigger and cooler. And Samurott doesn't do that for me, sadly. I'm gonna move you... Um... I think I might take a Scyther. Mac. Row. Masu. Epic. Okay, right, sweet. Hello, ma'am. My, my, the Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Do we actually get weirder now? That would make traveling so much better. Weird. I spoke to Weirder about what's going on. I told him how he's been trekking all over. I told him how we've been trekking all over the field land, seeking a way to quell Trevor's Trevor Clever's fury, Cleaver's fury. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan at, or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell from the rift into the into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Ears found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like this, like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. I love that. I love that! Ah! Oh. That's like serotonin. That's just a shot of serotonin. Where? That's the celestial flute, and my just that my just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on white weirder, so you can ride upon him. It's said that celestials celestia's fruit flutes were gifts from the almighty Sinnoh itself, and now one is yours. It's not that it's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Uh, uh, I love that sound. It's just a shot of serotonin. Weird ear opened his heart and learned well that the sound of sound of your playing. You received a mind plate from Weird Ear. Ooh, mind plate. Great for my Ralts later. Now use the Celestial Celestia flute wisely and gallop across the land with Wide Ear. Weird Ear. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. You can now call Weird Ear and gallop across the lands. 
Press the plus button to summon the Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert while riding uh, Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while riding. Yeah, you can take fall damage. Yatta! Nice to meet you, young Survey Corp recruit. I hear you have a rare ability to dash over hills and valley on the back of Pokemon, yes? Very well. Try not to... Try... Try not... Why not try your hand at Balloon Race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simply... This is really... You just need to burst as many of the adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that's an impressive start. You can find me anytime, so let me know whenever you're testing your skills in Balloon Race. Alright, okay, I'll try. There's a total of 30 balloons, of course, but let's see how many you can burst in four, 45 seconds. Now, go get them bursting. Alright. This is good practice. I think I have to jump for that one. Ah, I missed. Oh, I missed that one. He's sort of awkward to turn. Yeah! Oh, no, I missed him. I got 17. Can I get 20? Can I get 20? Can I get 20? Can I get 20? Yes, I got 20! Oof. That one's actually kind of hard. <laughs> Welcome back. You bursted 20 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all for some someone so skilled. I'll offer you this as a reward. Five Pokeballs. People have given me more Pokeballs for getting them like a sandwich. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting 17 balloons. Well done. A rare candy and 15 feather balls. You know what? Enough said. Sorry, I even said anything. You can take part in the balloon race in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skill to the next level. Alright. Is my mind plate as a key item? A stone tablet imbued with the essence of a psychic... Uh, essence of psychic energy. When you use a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic... Of the psychic type. It's incompatible with these Pokemon, though. Weird. Also, Featherball. A ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Okay. Let's call Weird Ear. I'd assume you have many. You have Arceus at some point, and that is how you change its type? I don't know, though. Maybe. I mean, that would make sense, because that's what it does, but it's still interesting. I don't know what kind of Pokemon there are in this game, but if there is Pokemon that I can name after my friends, I'm definitely going to name them. I'm going to probably name Growlithe Flare, even though this Growlithe is a special new Growlithe. Alright. So you say you got your- you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite food and into a ball and just you could throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galactic people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if that means we might provide Cleaver with his offerings. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't just don't go. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I think is what she said. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them, as promised. Gah, that's right. My apologies, Irita. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy Team. 
But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy leader, these galaxy team people don't share our customs or values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle my by ordering, you may battle by ordering Pokemon or uh, ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? I will. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Yeah, um, about that. I'm gonna kick your ass. Strong style rollout. Go, Macromasu! Spain! Ooh, strong style. Quick attack. Macromasu eats that, though. But then we probably die to the swift. <laughs> Macromasu, no! Rishi Ri's turn to shine. Flame wheel. My Eevee can evolve. I see how Pokeballs are simply tools of choice, not products of degre to degrade of degrade for Pokemon. You still understand the po that the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So, because you keep your distance, you'll mash Clear's favorite foods together, ball them up, and then try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. You've developed soothing balms of sort to calm our lord. Well, very well. If it'll help soothe Clear's frenzy, let's make these balms with, your, with our very hearts and souls. There! A uh, veritable mount mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself and I'll summon our mighty Cleaver and Lord of the Woods. Uh, let's not be hasty. Are you serious? After everything we readied for this moment, you're just gonna back out? Outrageous! Bruh, give me two fucking seconds, dude. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna evolve Eevee, I think. Uh, I think I'll also start the fight with Macromasu, but I I want to see if Macromasu has any water type moves it can learn. And I think because Eevee knows a fairy type move, it's going to evolve into a Sylveon, which is what I want. Yeah, let's go. Sylveon looks so menacing. Dude, I love the models in this game. I don't know if it's just the shading or something or what they did, but I love the models in this. Okay, he has Water Pulse. I almost, I kind of forgot. We have Rest too, potentially. I'll switch Tackle with... Nah, mm, Yeah, no, I'll switch it with Bite. No, nah, I'll switch it with... You know what? Rest. Why not? Because I'll start I'll start off the fight with Macromasu, and then come on, this is our one with the best chance of using these bombs to our fullest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wrong person, I guess. <laughs> now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, the system for changing moves is a lot. I I hope they keep this in every Pokemon game after. Hopefully. Yes, am I. I'm scared to, to do this, Cleaver, but I think we're pretty good. Almighty Cleaver, Lord of Woods, thou is, it isn't yet, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. 
I hope I can catch the cleaver, but I don't know. Benevolent Lord who works his might between heaven and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Masu. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves uh, as you throw the bombs. Grasha. Aw, oh, shit. My man's fast. Lord of the Woods Cleaver. 